Hello, I'm Hansi Parchment. You're watching Talawa TV with Crystal Davis. Golden Ricketts, how are you? I'm doing great, thanks. How are you? I am well. You've made my night. Before we get started, please go ahead and big up the greatest parish in Jamaica. <laughs> You're putting me on the spot. So um, I'm going to big up St. Thomas because I was born there. Yes. And I'm also going to big up St. Andrew because I grew up there. I love that. I'll take that. 14.94, game's record. Um, you weren't playing about tonight, were you? No, I definitely knew that the girls were coming out here to fight, so I had to bring my A game and war them. What got you going? Was it the cold or was it something else? It's the cold. I like competing in the cold for some strange reason, but then after the first jump, it, I feel like it got even colder and then the breeze started changing, so yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what next? What's next for you in terms of achievement? Because this is your greatest career medal, isn't it? Yes. Um, apart from the World Championships, yes, this is my first um, gold. gold. So um, what's next? I have the Monaco Diamond League next week, and I'm also going to be participating at the NACAC Championships in Bahamas. Amazing stuff. And how does it feel to inspire the little kids in St. Thomas? Because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of them with their eyes gripped to the screen saying, I want to be like Golden Ricketts. Yes, definitely. I hope to be an inspiration to them. I hope they see themselves in me. If them foot long, them can try to try the triple jump. You know, if them slim, them can try the triple jump or even high jump. What if them have short foot? If them have short foot, then can try to cast a ball foot short too. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Best of luck for the rest of the season. Thank you. My Talawas, good afternoon, good evening, possibly good morning, all depends on where you're based in the world. Happy Sunday, guys. Let me get that out of the way before I forget my manners. I hope you guys are having a terrific Sunday. Drop some comments in the comment section. Let me know what's on the dinner menu. I'm back again. You know my Sunday section is usually dedicated to the Weekend of Action Review, right? Where we talk about the reggae girls. Sometimes we touch on the reggae boys, but Men's football at the moment tends to be a little bit toxic, guys, so I try to stay away from talking about certain things. So we usually keep it focused on the reggae girls. But just for the next half an hour, I've had to switch up my schedule, make a little diversion because I need to talk about something with you guys. I need to actually clarify um, a topic that was discussed last night on my channel um, with regards to um, the Jamaica Football Federation banning YouTubers from press conferences and we were talking about the press conference with the new gaffer the new um head coach of the men's reggae boys team and there was a lot that was said on last night's press conference lo and behold guys um within the last hour or so um getting myself to bed I was actually going to have a little nap before I come on here because I wasn't feeling well then I had a lovely phone call from Mr Earl Bailey who is the press officer for the Jamaica Football Federation both for the men's team and the women's team and it was a very direct conversation guys welcoming but extremely extremely direct and before I get into that I think it's only right that I bring someone on my platform and we we sat on the platform last night side by side to talk about um, the Jamaica Football Federation banning YouTubers. So I can't have this conversation without bringing on um, Ryan LFC because he is pivotal to last night conversation. In case some of you are wondering what happened, um, Ryan was notified that the Jamaica Football Federation have banned um, Jamaican YouTubers from press conference press conferences and apparently he is the reason why the YouTubers received a ban and a lot of people um, got on to Ryan for that because of apparently because of the way he delivers his content and the stuff that he said about the Jamaica Football Federation in the past etc right so that is the reason why the video was done yesterday and I believe Ryan has untouched on a few things on his platform as well so I hope you guys are all on the same page as me. In, in case you're out the loop, um, stay tuned and hopefully by the end of the live stream, um, you'll be well up to date with what's happened and you'll have some great bit of clarity. That's all this, this is all about, guys. It's all about clarity. It's all about transparency. And I'm very grateful that I had the uh, conversation there with Mr. Earl Bailey, the press officer of the Jamaica Football Federation. He clarified a lot.
perhaps what I already knew, but it's it's great to come from the horse's mouth himself. So let me go ahead and um bring on my lovely guest, Mr. Ryan LFC. How are you, sir? I'm doing good, man. It's a pleasure to have, have me on your platform again. I really appreciate it, sister. I'm Thank so sorry to, to, to um, disturb you because I know that it's Sunday and I know you like to spend the time with Mrs. Jackson and, and, and your little princess, but I had to um, bring you back on the platform because I know that you uh, was hurt about what was said with regards to you being the reason why YouTubers um, are banned from press conferences so i think it's only right so that we can all you know hash out that transparency both for yourself the jamaica football federation and the guys that follow our um youtube channel as well how does that sound trust me man i am so happy to make the fans know the truth and nothing but the truth and i always said if i get it wrong i will definitely definitely come and talk to the fans and say hey people i get this one wrong and I have to blame myself for it and think the person who come and said it to me know themselves. I'm not going to um, call out the person. But it's so funny that, Crystal, this person, I help all the time. I show this person nothing but love and respect. And I'm telling you, man, like this, teach me a lesson about friend, some of the people who you um, call friend. And... It really hurt me, Crystal. Trust me, like, it really hurt me because I know a lot of people in the YouTube space want to see me slip up. They dying for see me get something something wrong for us. Okay, all right, Ryan LFC is not credible. And they get, they, they get what they want. And I am happy I'm here to call me, you know, because last night I was so upset. Still upset up to this morning I do a video on my show and, and I burn a lot of fire. And trust me, Crystal, I'm telling you, man, this person will do it to me, Crystal. It hurt me from the bottom of my heart. It pained me. I couldn't believe it. It come from But this. Ryan, but I, I understand that you're hurt and obviously you're human and you have emotions. So it's natural for you to be hurt, but you have to take some positive out of this. It's, it takes a lot for the, the Jamaica football for, um, press officer. By the way, that's what you expect. So you see last night how I said that there are people, and I'm not going to stop saying it, there are people working for the Jamaica Football Federation who are working against them. What Earl Bailey done is exactly what a person working for the Jamaica Football Federation should do in terms of protecting your company. If you heard that someone are saying something that is not true, it is your duty to protect your company because that those are your colleagues. Those are your colleagues, so he's supposed to protect his company, just like how someone told you that you're the reason why YouTubers are banned from press conferences and you protected the brand, Ryan LFC. Uh, Bailey did the same by protecting the Jamaica Football Federation. I I, I definitely, I, I understand with you, but, you know, sometimes things um, a lot of people wouldn't understand or I feel right now because, you know, when somebody who you really help, Crystal, can do something like that to you. That's you know them always said your enemy don't hurt you, but your friends will hurt you. And it teach me a lesson for me to doing this show a lot of people how it done consistently. And somebody do this like me, Crystal. Trust me, for you hear me, I tell you, whenever something hurt me, my last tears, my mouth feels so sour, bitter. The anger may have inside of me, but at the end of the day, I always tell myself, when I get something wrong, I am not afraid to come out and say, listen, I get it wrong. But trust me, Crystal, I'm never a call a person name, but no say from after today, you can't even message my phone. You will continue to link me, but I will not. I'm going to block the person, Crystal. And as somebody who means, okay, this person credible, and 98% of the time when they speak, and they do something like this, they have agenda. But Ryan, can you not see the positive outcome in all of this that the, the press officer is saying? And if you want to call him, I'm more than happy to give you his number and you can call him. The press officer said, Ryan himself can call me. So the, can you not take some good out of that to say that the press officer is looking and saying that despite of what 
because we got to remind ourselves that Earl Bailey has a journalism background, so he's no fool. He knows how journalism works. He knows how new media work. Can you not take some positive to say that Absolutely. the press officer is saying that I can give him a pass? So there's a clear, there's a clear um, clarity there to say that you are not the issue. So you are not the reason why YouTubers were allegedly banned. By the way, guys, there was no ban, so that we're all on, yeah, on the but, same. Yeah, and, you know, you know what the thing, Crystal, I always tell people. Oh, I speak. Oh, I go about things. And when I look at it, when I speak to a lot of people from the football federation, a lot of people probably say you're Ryan harsh. But when I speak to them, they say Ryan, do your thing. Everybody is very, very different, and they have never have a problem. And then yes, Earl Bailey said, you can give Ryan him number and call him and have a talk. So if you have been the fire, he will clarify it. Speak yeah. to him. That's exactly what he said. He said, Ryan can call me. That's exactly those are the exact words that he said, Ryan. So if you want to call him, you're more than welcome to give him a call. So that's why I'm saying that sometimes certain things happen for a reason. Because in the back of your mind, you are saying that um, sure you don't mind me saying this. Um people don't want you into press conferences or people won't allow you into press conference. The person who is in charge of the press conference is saying, Ryan LFC can give me a call. Yeah, and it that that, that, made feel, that made me feel really, really good that, you know, you're a part of the JFF and I speak, and I speak many times about him. And to know that he still do have a problem how I speak and how I deal with things, I have to just say, yo, big up to Earl Bailey for, for leaving that door open for me whenever I'm ready to give him a message or give him a call and stuff. And it kind of make me feel really happy. You know what I mean? It kind of make me feel happy. And I always tell people, Crystal, when you're doing journalist thing, you're going to get things wrong. Because journalists, you always um, feed off our source. And if you don't get us, if somebody don't feed her the information, what are you going to write about? Mm hmm you understand? So I will definitely give him a call and thing, but I want to say to my viewers, I am really, really sorry um, about um, last night and this morning because may have all right for me to be offending, especially if I get it from somebody, say I'm a friend and they're credible. I have all right for come and um, adjust it to, 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 my, to my to my subscriber and I come on your show that's why I make the time and come on your show to clarify all of these things and things so I'm really happy and think but at the end of the day I still feel because I am a human being said we you understand mm -hmm. as I say I always forgive but I never forget yeah, yeah, I think that's um that's the best way to go um forward. I don't think you should beat yourself up about it. I don't think you should. I can understand you saying that you're hurt because you trusted the person to um give you accurate information, and that wasn't the case um on this occasion. But like I've said to you, you've got the press officer saying to you that you can give him a call. So yesterday, when we were led to believe that YouTubers were banned and you was the reason why YouTubers were banned, that's not the truth. So you can take some positive out of that. That's yeah. a massive amount of positivity. And it, it as I must say, as they say always, always, always I tell me Ryan, just stick to the guns. Um you're telling me that I can take a lot of um positive thing out of this because last night a lot of people were on my back i say um ryan deserved to get it um uh, ryan should come off at it because i am the one that paid in bad picture that's the rest of youtube of them cannot get into it and me really and truly tell her if me do have to go in a press conference but don't block my co-worker them that's how i look on it if i have to sacrifice for my co-worker them, for them to go in the press conference, I will make that sacrifice. You understand? But at the end of the day, Crystal, I am so glad Earl Bailey reach out to you and all of them stuff there. And we can tell the people them that, yo, I'm a man. I am a big man enough to tell the people them, say, yo, I get it wrong. And that's what I stand for. Truth and right. And always to start the facts and stuff. 
I'm I'm happy for you. I'm happy that um what was said yesterday wasn't the truth, and that if even if there was a ban, I'm just happy that you're not at fault for that because that's that's a huge amount of burden to carry, guys. Well, maybe you can argue and um call it guilt, but that's a huge amount of burden for anyone to carry to think that because of one single individual and entire YouTube football community is banned from press conferences. That's quite damning. Um, so I'm I'm happy for you that that's not the case, and um, at least at least now you can go to bed and sleep peacefully, knowing that people aren't burning bad um, fire for you. So the people that you think dislike you, they're the ones who actually don't mind you. I, that's I always that <laughs> that, I always I tell people say yo the people them from the JFF they don't have no problem with me, Crystal, but uh, other people make it think like say yo. I am the bad. Them always paint me that bad guy. And I don't know why. Anybody who speak out against the, the system, them always believe that he's the bad one. But really and truly, I tell people this all the time on my vlog. The people from the Football Federation don't have a problem with me. You hear them say, Ryan, you can, you can have the balance sometime, but I say balance it what? Give me something, make I have balance. You understand? Give me something that I have balance. But sister... I'm telling you, man, like it as you see me sit right here, it just make me look on things so different when it comes on to friend. Sister H even though how much I help this person and this this person turn me over like that. You know, say I have never made somebody as a friend do me like that. I have never have a friend do me like that. Where could I mess me up? Because I never give people them them opportunity to do me something like that. I has never get it. So it just made me feel really, really bad, man. But as I said, we can take a lot of positive from it. And Earl Bailey, big up for you know that you reach out to Talawa. And, you know, if Talawa call me and say, Ryan, this is what Earl said, or whatever this say, say, you come here, bring me on the show. I feel happy about it, man. Really feel happy about it, man. I'm happy for you, Ryan. I'm I'm 100 happy for me for you, and you deserve it because someone here says you have a good heart. Um, I agree with that. Like I said so many times before, guys, you don't have to agree with Ryan's opinions or with his delivery. It's very easy. It's simple. Stay off his channel. If you don't go onto his channel, you won't hear what he has to say. You don't have to take him in. Stay off his channel because he's not going to change. Just stay off his channel. And I always say to you, Ryan, I say it to you off the record, and I say it to you on my channel a number of times, in this business, any business that you're dealing with, be it football or any other business, once there's business on the table where especially money is involved, you have your friendly competitors and you have your sinister competitors. Anyone who is business-minded will tell you that. And anybody who tells you that that's a lie, that's a person to keep an eye on. Because it's, it's factual. In business, you have friendly competitors and you have your sinister competitors. So it's for you to know who is who. It's down to you to know who is who. I can't tell you who is who. I can't say, Ryan, keep an eye on this or Ryan. You're your own big man. You're your own person. You're a dad at the end of the day. You have sense. You're supposed to know what's what. I can't tell you that. Crystal, I'm telling you, man, like, it really hurt me. I tell you the truth, it hurt me because as somebody who me say, me give so much advice, so many advice. I has never given nobody ever so much advice yet. Share it. And the person do something like that to me. I can't believe, Krista. I just cannot believe. I can't believe. I am here sitting right now and tell you, me now hide my feelings. I'm going to feel embarrassed. I'm going to feel very disrespectful. I am just going to always tell him, my Crystal, may I tell you, it hurt me. It hurt me because these people just want for me to slip up. I'm telling you, man, they just want for slip up for no say, as somebody where I have as my friend, to me this Crystal Davis. You see why I don't have no friend? People, you know, so I don't have no friend. My friend is YouTube. The people them on YouTube. Ask my wife. My wife never have a problem with me. Going out, say I'm gone with friend, I'm gone with that, and come a foreign. 
my wife, my stick to. Crystal, one person I can call a friend in a Canada on a half-time TV. I don't really have no friend, I don't go out and think. Sometimes my wife will say, oh, you love YouTube too much. I guess you. I guess I'm a talk, Crystal. And for no say, somebody who I respect, respect. So, I tell you, say, oh, human being can do to a other human being. I tell you that, Crystal, it, yo, I tell you, it hurt me. I tell you that, Crystal. You know what I mean? Let the me show me. Let me add some clarity this quickly right um mpeg um good evening to all of you guys in the comments section i'm gonna give you your own little shout out um, before I close from the show Just a minute. So, good evening to you guys. so um yeah mpeg um to be fair to um uh, mr bailey he did clarify that as well um and he did say that that was a sincere mistake on um jamaica football federation's behalf um, and he did say that literally um, the reason why there was no Zoom link is because one wasn't created. However, the press conference was supposed to be held at the Jamaica Football um, HQ, the headquarters, and they opted for the more the most um, the more um, expensive option, which is to move it to Pegasus. I'm pretty sure you all know that the interview, the press conference of the unveiling for the Reggae Boys head coach was held at the Pegasus Hotel. And that was the more um, expensive option. And the reason why they did that is because they wanted more media in the room. Right. So, yes, a Zoom link wasn't available, but they did move the press conference from the Jamaica HQ to the Pegasus Hotel so that they could have more media in the room. Right. Um, but for me, the biggest um the biggest um positive to take away from this lays in the laps of um Ryan. I think it's great for him to know that there wasn't a ban, and even if there was a ban, he has nothing to do with it. So just so there is clarity there and um transparency, guys, that is the reason why there was no link for the um for the press conference. One wasn't created, but it wasn't out of spite, as um verified by the press officer Earl Bailey. Yeah, get an important call. So I tell the people, I say, I call him back. Right? Everybody I call me, I say, you're right. Wah, 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 wah. I tell you, Crystal, a bad of thing, a lot of people do me things, Crystal. Me know, me God bless you. You know what I mean? Me know me going to rise back again. My heart clean. My hands clean. I am good. Everybody have them ways, Crystal. But I can mm -hmm. tell you this. My wife always say, yo, people always use you and take this advantage of your kindness. Crystal, I remember I've been in the situation where nobody was watching my channel and I youth from um um St. Vincent. A youth named Dominic Rich from St. Vincent. Give me the support, share my video there, me and him have a lot of um with difference and thing but me can pick up my phone and tell you every time I see me say oh brother I appreciate way you may um appreciate everything you done for me and all of them things and I say yo Ryan I watch your face man I may I tell you I feel embarrassed I feel so destroy you know them always say your enemy na hurt you but the people them are close to you hurt you sister may I tell you Ryan, it's okay to feel hurt by the situation, you know, because um, I gather that you and that person, or you see, you see that person as a friend, um, only you can um, verify that. So I understand why you're hurt, but to say that you're embarrassed, don't feel embarrassed because we're all humans at the end of the day. If someone came to me and said, if you came to me and said, um, sis, the Jamaican YouTubers are banned from press conference and you're the reason. I would act in the same way that you did because I'm human and I have emotions. And I'm going to step forward and defend myself and say, well, they shouldn't be banned because don't punish them because of me. If you're going to punish me, punish me and not them. So what I'm saying to you is you defended your brand, Ryan LFC's brand, and Earl Bailey came out and defended his colleagues the Jamaica Football Federation. So neither one of you did the wrong thing, in my opinion. Neither one of you were wrong for defending each other. Of course you have to defend each other. You're defending your brand. One moment. Someone's calling in, Ryan. Yeah. Good evening, Carl. 
Someone called in, um, but they don't want to um have the conversation live, so we'll have to talk um off the record. Yeah, Ryan. So what I'm saying is, don't beat yourself up over what happened. Take positivity from it. Everything happens for a reason. Imagine if um Earl Bailey didn't call. Imagine if Mr. Bailey did not call. You would have been going around saying, "I'll tomorrow you that work." I say, oh, "Because I you make your colleagues them the um press conference." You would always be saying that it's because of you why the, why the vloggers are not in the press conferences. So you're supposed to feel good to know that it has nothing to do with you. So mm. there's nothing to feel embarrassed about. You should, your Sunday, so if your Sunday was at zero, your Sunday should be at 100. Yeah. <laughs> I your don't Sunday, know. You, but should be, you should be happy. You shouldn't be sat there I'm, saying I'm, that. I'm happy, but just because I am happy, I, I'm telling you, I... I'm happy, but I, I at another next part of me, I really feel I really feel um messed up. You know, that's how I stay still. I probably get off um get get over it, look by look. Probably tomorrow I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm gonna go to work and thing. But I kinda really, really you say it's funny, like your own friend where you say credible, he give you a story. And not one time I am getting story from big people. I never get wrong, get one wrong. But as soon as I run one, we're calling my friend, miss me. You see mm. that? Mm. The people them with me beat every day. I've never given me a story and miss me. It's all life still. Yeah. I them yeah. think they, I them think they pay me. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you have to just things have to happen. For you learn, for you protect your space. You know what I mean? Things have to happen and you have to learn from this. If I learn from this, I'm a madman, I'm a junkhead. If I learn from this, as I say, I tell you this straight. Sis, I am very ruthless and a lot of people are going to reach out to me for help. I'm just going to say, I don't want to do it. Mm -mm. I just mm. don't want to do it. You know what I mean? It just made me more really, really, really very, very selfish right now. I just don't want to do it. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, man. Don't beat yourself up over it, right? And I see a few people in the comment section. Um, Someone is saying, um, don't be naive. If it wasn't for a leak, we wouldn't have even seen. It could be something as simple as there was no um, no video videographer present to record the interview. And I don't want you to go away and think that it's Earl Bailey's job to record the interviews in a video format because that is the job of a videographer. Earl Bailey is the press officer, guys. So I know a couple of times you guys are saying that you want Earl Bailey to, to be the videographer and you want Earl Bailey to be interviewing the players, editing the interviews and putting it out on social media. That's three people's job that you're asking a press officer to do. That has nothing to do with his job description. Getting filmed in the interview has nothing to do with Earl Bailey's job description. He he's a press officer. If that is the case, then we can we can sit here and we can go back and forth and we can say that we need a videographer in the room. And I can't knock you guys on that, but Earl Bailey's not a videographer. He's not even there to be a journalist. <laughs> That's those are different roles that you're expecting of him, guys. So I don't this um I don't disagree with some of the things that you guys are saying, but let's try and just put certain things into context and let's try and be a little bit fair with regards to how we're analysing situations. Yes, a mistake was made and um, Mr. Bailey has already admitted that, yes, the mistake was made in regards to not sending out a, a link. So creating a link, not sending out a link. There was no link created. Not creating a link so that um, people within the diaspora a bit like myself, Ryan, be it from traditional media or YouTube, could um, ask the, the the gaffer questions. So that was the mistake that was made. Another mistake that we were all led to believe was that um, Ryan is the reason why YouTubers didn't have access to the press conference, and that is the that for me is the main reason why the um, last night's YouTube um, video was created. Last night's stream. Not the fact that we were banned, 
because if we're banned, we're banned. What can we do about that? But when you're blaming someone for, for us being banned, it's unacceptable. It's wrong because you, you do damage to that person. You're making that person walk around with guilt that don't even belong to them. So that is wrong. It's wrong to actually shift the blame on someone when they, they're innocent. That's like sending an innocent person to prison for a crime that they didn't commit. It is wrong. It's unacceptable, guys. Absolutely unacceptable. And that is the issue here. Just like I said that there are, um, I said to you guys on the last on the live stream yesterday, what would you prefer, disrespect or disloyalty? And I say, I'd rather you disrespect me than to be disloyal to me. And I said that, yes, there are people in the high echelons of the Jamaica Football Federation who feed information to YouTubers because they are disloyal. And a few of you are acting like you didn't know what I was on about. You're fully aware, no, fully, you're fully aware of what I'm on about. And that, to me, is an even bigger problem than YouTubers being disrespectful because they're your colleagues. The way that Earl Bailey acted today, that's how I would expect everybody who works for the Jamaica Football Federation to act. You're supposed to defend your brand. You're supposed to defend your company. All when they're treating you bad behind the scenes, you're supposed to defend them because I them I put money on, on um, in your pocket and I them I put food on your table, Ryan. So you're supposed to defend them. Yeah. So what Earl Bailey did... I don't even think today is a working day for him. He's probably at home with his kids, but that's what he's supposed to do because he does that. One is the press officer, and I'm I'm assuming that uh, Mr. Ricketts or no one asked him to do whatever. He just did it off his own back, did it um, as an instinct thing, as a courtesy thing um, for the company that he works for. That for me is one that's a positive because we know that within the four walls of the Jamaica Football Federation, there are good people there. I've said it to you guys already that those ladies who work at the HQ, particularly the ones at the front of house, respectable, knows their job, does their job well, warm, welcoming, professional. I went there to collect my press accreditation, Ryan, and within minutes, I was out. There was even a mistake that happened on my accreditation. And within minutes, it was sorted out, Ryan. Smooth mm -hmm. transition. When last year, by year, good customer service from Jamaica. Forget the Jamaica Football Federation. Someone in Jamaica is giving you good customer service. And coincidentally, that came from the hate, the HQ of the Jamaica Football Bro, Federation. Bro, it, it's hard, brother, because last time I went to Jamaica, I was just speaking like a Jamaican. And thing I would never get you. Soon as I change my flow, I I come from foreign. Oh my God, what happened? What? No, seriously, may I show you how our country, our country stay, man. We praise um foreigner. They love foreigner breaching. You understand? I am walking into the bank and may I say to them, say yo, I'm mean, gonna really need a credit card because I live overseas now. Me don't owe no money on it. I may tell him, say, yo, stop sending it to my mom yard. I don't want it to go to my mom yard. Just don't send me any more and him continue. I mean, know the type of people that will live in my mom house. Next thing, them go run up the credit and me have how much bills and things. So, in the, in the bank, nobody na give me no assistant. And me just start cuss and go on bad and start to talk like a foreigner. Me get you. They they come and bring me around in a different two months. Or oh, or oh, sorry and very and thing. It's just a so Jamaican work still. You know what I mean? Me <laughs> me I mean I tell you say yo me me learn. <laughs> I tell you say yo me learn. I'm happy. It's not me make any YouTuber ban. You understand? Because me wouldn't want that. Even if me get ban, me wouldn't want that for mercy. I'm a core of them. I wouldn't want what me do. Go over on them. I am a very, very fair person, and that's why I'm always a crystal. Mm -hmm. I like to stay on my channel because I know some of my, uh, my co of them they have a different way and different how oh, them do them thing. I, mean, I don't want to get nobody in on a trouble. So I always try to stick on my channel and just be myself and do whatever me I do without nobody telling me, say, Yo, you can't tell me that. And you know what I mean? Yeah, so it's good, it's not me. And people, I am 100% sorry about it. And the person know themselves, so disappointed, Bridget. But just know that you, you teach me a lesson that, you know, you just care of people too close to you. You know what I mean? I learn, Crystal. I learn. 
nothing to learn me for the five years or one day. May I tell you, that's how my life is so sweet, you know. Mm -hmm. Last five years, I don't know. Ups and downs. This, may I tell you, say, this rockling me, man. It's rockling me. I'm telling you, it rockling me. It have me up on my knee. You know what I mean? For the last five years, I tell you, say, the first step me ever touched me, sir. You know what I mean? So, a part of life still. You know what I mean? I have to just get on with it and all of these stuff and things. So, let it know. YouTube is not blocked from any press conference and all of them things. Which is a good thing. Going forward, YouTube, you will get the link. I don't know. You will get the link. Press conference, you will get it. So, I'm just letting you guys know that I am 100% Sorry about that and all of this stuff. But some of the things the moment say me now go sorry, cause some of me, some of my counterparts. <laughs> but they really want good here still. But I am just sorry when we um what we discussed last night. But certain things me now go take me now go sorry for still. But yeah. <laughs> but I respect the viewers them and me understand. I understand and show that even if a five person is watching us, I don't know how much I watch me. Even if a five person I watch me, me really do really, really um appreciate appreciate the um the support and all of them stuff there. I don't know if I'm going to do a video because right now I have to go spend some time with the family, eat some food. So Christian the dinner menu before you go, Ryan. Um oxtail, barbecue chicken, fried chicken. You know me like um so much meat, Ryan. I love barbecue chicken, but you know the family, me ne, you know me still, me always want to stay lean, so I don't eat in a whole heap. But you know, the family, you know, you have to make them, them happy and thing, you know what I mean? But you know me, it's not the like whole heap of meat and the rice and all of them things. Mm -hmm. I want to stay lean and things. So yeah, but yeah. I have another rice, video. Rice and, rice and peas and thing and thing. And I don't think I'm going to do no more. I um, don't think I'm going to do no video today. So, Crystal. I'll probably take your video and upload it to my channel so and let the people them know. So is that do okay? You, yeah, do whatever. Do you, do you want me to send it to you? Do I need to send it to you? Yeah, but I have to still get it for download, right? Yeah. Yeah. You to, or, or you can um download it. I go, um, I go, I go find the apps where we can download it and just yeah. you can put download it, it because I think it's fair that we speak about it here and I think yeah. it's fair to you know, to put it on my channel and thing, but I'm not in a mood for making a video right now. I'm really, 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 really crab up after me have a nice show plan. You know, me have a nice show plan <laughs> with, with you see, life stayed what? Oh my god, but Jersey boy, I'm telling you, man, Jersey boy, Jesus Christ, no matter how much me and Jersey boy go at it, somebody I'm work with from England, me never meet him in person yet. Never ever meet Jersey boy in person. And me and Jersey boy war and we have a difference. I will come back again. Today him call me. Me say, yo, which video you watch? Me say, boy, Ryan, the viewers them is getting on your skin and, and thing. And me say, yo, don't worry. And I say, Ryan, don't get mad enough you know, because he say, if I him, him could take it. So me yeah. say, Jersey boy, you know me. You know me. I ready for take on anything. My back broad. But that no mean me a human being. Me not have. Of, of my yeah. problem. Me yeah. I tell you, yo, this hurt me. I'm a feel it from the bottom of me. Me I tell you the truth. Me not hide it. Me not hide it. It hurt me. And me look, look, my tone of voice and everything. You know me when me I deliver. I yeah, a, I know. I can hear that. it in your voice. Yeah, it, it, it really voice. hurt me, man. You know me. I'm a very confident person. And when something really affect me, it affect me. Trust me, it affect me. Me I tell you, I need them weak. I tell you, it really affect me. I don't go around the thing. I not affect. But I show you, say, oh, Jersey boy, this, this youth I has never seen. And thing. I know him said to me, say, man, say, Ryan, you're the only friend I have. Where, no matter what, I always did it for listen to what I say. Yeah. Sometimes him say more on a crazy thing and him call me. And him know, say, once I call him, him just everything. I say, no, man, no worry about it, man. Everything will be good. And yeah, for you no guys have a loving relationship. Eh? It's nice. You guys have a loving relationship. Yeah, and him, 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 him have a plan, Master Ryan. He have a show a plan for me. And thing I'm saying, what you have a plan? What you know about Jamaican football? He say, I have set my plan. I will plan for do a nice show today. But still do it. Still do it. Oh, no, man, I got my brain. Anytime my brain is dead, my brain is dead. Yeah. 
Yeah. Me nah go do it. And that's what people there, make. Yeah. I mean. So, me have to go build back my confidence and come back again. Me have to go into the gym. Man for strong, no weakness. Me have to just... <laughs> yeah, me have to go to work tomorrow, take my mind off fight, and oh, just... Oh, say, okay. I just clutch back with my family and relax. Yeah. And have fun, but may I show you, Jersey boy, my friend, big up yourself, Bridging. For no say this you could youth. Over over this YouTube meeting, you know, I just drop the link one day, you know. And the youth just lag on pan it, you know. And from that, the youth tell me see you. Yeah. Everybody push him down. You tell me everybody push him down. I mean the only one. You, ah, you know what I mean? And for no say yo, me star, me and people. Try to do me dirt crystal, but it just make me get weak and make me get back strong. And for yeah, and Ryan, it's a positive because even when me and you speak um offline and we speak like on a personal level, you've always had this impression that um JFF have banned you from press conference. So you already believe that yourself. Yeah, you that long, I mean, long time, it's Earl Bailey that's selling you, that's literally saying to you. And like I said, if you want to call him, feel free to call him because he will tell you the same thing that nothing goes like that. So you should be looking at that all along. I know, I know from yesterday, a long time you have it in your head that they've banned you from press conference because that's yeah, the but, first time you say it. Yeah, my always believe that, but it's so fun. I don't me try to show you, it's so fun when you speak to the people. them. We did it, and you suppose if me tell you the name, then me reach out to me, sis. You could have been. Ryan, can't you just say to yourself that everything happens for a reason? Because yeah, if it, 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 it never happened yesterday, you would not have even found out that Earl Bailey is saying that you can call him, and he never put a ban on you from no press conference. So yeah. that's that's a positive because from long time you you you, you have it in your mind said them ban you from press conference long time, and yeah. not just today, not just yesterday. Yeah, and then when we go hear this from a credible person, wait, <laughs> that make it worse. If me if me believe from all the time, see how them ban me, them no want to see my face. <laughs> and then we go get it from somebody with me, say I'm a friend and I'm credible and I'm do me something like that. Wait, right. you, oh, you know, yeah, I'm not, it's me, I'm gonna put up my foot and say, Yo, oh, yeah. who yeah. Yeah. no, yes, to me, I get back my confidence. No, no, you, you can't feel me, can't feel me, I get back my car, you know what I mean, but. Yeah. I guess it's, it's up for a reason, and Everything you, know, you have to reason. learn, man. You have to learn, you have to learn. And this teach me that yo, Ryan, is not everybody who you help are gonna be nice because big man thing, yes, me know we are. Um, all of us do this, any business they do are competitor, right? Any business yeah, they do, um, but me still, um, tell our me really. Me, me, me know it's, it's competitive, but I don't have that thing where I am very selfish. I just want this for myself and want that for myself. No. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because me remember when I send out email to so many people in England, I never look for me. I know how it feels for know when you're watching, you turn on a YouTube channel and nobody paying your attention. I remember these things I may say, Ryan, when you get in a position where you can help back people, help. Yeah. And you know, say, me mom tell me, 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 me person named Dominic Rich, he called yeah. me and say, Ryan, Ryan, you can't show everybody the secret. You can't show everybody the formula. That's what he said to me, you know. I forgot to call him and have a talk with him, probably in the week. And I said, boy, my chain, you're right, you know. You teach me them things, yeah. But it has never reached to me. Yeah. It has never reached for me. And him saying, Ryan, him watch me show all the time. And Ryan, him said, he have nothing about love and respect for me. You know what I mean? But. So, it just show you that. <laughs> I tell a story. Crystal, I just have to laugh. Yeah, yeah. Ryan, the only thing I like up the show, man. Only I do to me, like up the show, people, man. Come on, come back the note to him, normal self. That's the only thing you can do, you know, Ryan, is laugh. I want to say, I you always believe in you. Know. Get upset. You see, you see, me always protect my um my reputation. You see, my reputation, 
my reputation is more my reputation is everything more than every other thing I have the asset and the phone and the shoes and all of them thing there yeah my reputation is everything to me me Ryan LFC is a brand is everything to me you know what I mean so when somebody were trying to do and trying to attack the reputation, me go get defensive. And you have to understand that. And me now say nobody not supposed to get defensive. People are saying, oh, Ryan, oh, JFF, you try to attack JFF, very, very. And it's good for know that Earl Bailey reach out to your teller and say, yo, Ryan is nowhere, no YouTuber is banned. You from can verify Muslim. it. I, I encourage you to call him. Yeah, man, I'm going to give him a call. I'm going to give him a call, sis. I'm going to definitely I'm gonna give him a call. When he, when he and, spoke to me, I said, yeah, I spoke to Ryan yesterday. And Ryan told me that he is apparently the reason why YouTubers are banned. And straight mm -hmm. away, he dismissed it. He said, YouTubers aren't banned. And you aren't the reason why YouTubers are banned. Matter of fact, he said he don't know where that came from. Mm -hmm. He don't know where that came from because you're not no reason why um YouTubers are banned and there there isn't a ban. So I, you know the funniest thing. To, yeah, you know the funniest thing to me, Crystal. Mm. I know me. See, it? me is not a person who are going at the press conference. I will not go in there. Yeah. Plain forward. I understand. Yeah, I understand. I will not go into the press conference because let me tell you something, Krista. And somebody said to me already and said, um, Ryan, if you keep on and say yo, the president out or anything. So if you if we have a discussion, an interview with the president, and him sit in front of you. No matter what you try to do, he might be defensive because he always think me talk bad about him or negative. Naturally, human being. Because if me always talk bad about you, tell her. Yeah. You know how to feel sit comfortable to sit down. So me always have to say, me not really want to go in at the press conference. Me not really want, it's not nothing to me. But I want my co worker them to be in there. Yeah. That's the important takeaway from all of that. That yes, me want my coworker them to be in there because I know what they can do. Because you two of them represent themselves very well in a press conference. Listen, listen to our formula speak. Look at what I am sure the question, coaches, decks, all of them. Yeah, I would want because of me, they get banned. I'm glad it's not because of me, you know what I mean? So, yeah. everything is a win win. I'm a happy. About it, Crystal, but at the same time, I'm happy, but me still feel hurt. I mean, I got I that. I understand that. Yeah, I understand. Really, me, me, me really I feel understand. because me, me everything, my image is everything, and my reputation is everything. You I understand I mean? that. Big, I big. definitely understand that. I understand. I'm going to give you about um three more minutes, Ryan. I'm going to take this to about 50. And then yeah. I'm going to close up. And guys, I have another show coming up. I have my usual um, weekend of action show coming up. Um, I'm not 100% today, guys. So after I finish this one, I'm probably going to, I'm going to come back uh, maybe in about five to 10 minutes time. I'm just going to take um, two painkillers and then I'm going to go straight back into the other live stream about the yeah. Riga girls. And then I'm going to call it a night. So I'm going to give you guys another um, live stream in about 10 minutes after closing off from this. Yeah. How do you type this yeah. video, Crystal? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, my type, let me type, what am I call it? Um, yeah. Jamaica Football Federation says they will never ban YouTubers from press conferences. Yeah. All uh, right. Yeah. I mean, I think about a name for, for name my video. Oh. But, yeah. But Crystal, as we say, I'm happy. And people, I'm really sorry. I'm telling you, really sorry. And thing, I know you guys um expect big things from me. And you know, big up to all of the people them were happy, were happy, and big up to the people them were laugh. I say, yeah, man, I'm finally I'm happy to forget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta have them people there, but you can't blame them. Yeah, it's, it's life, Ryan. What you expect it's if not, Jesus you can't have blame enemy, them, you know what I mean? You not have enemy, and Jesus did have enemy. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> you know, must have enemy as well. I'm I'm laughing because and I think it's really funny. It's funny, you know, you know that crystal when me start out, my bridge in that tell me, my coach, Damani Critch. Check him out, people. Damani Critch FC. Type it in. One of the best on YouTube, in my humble opinion. You know what I mean? When it comes to international football, anything is yeah. very slick and thing. Big up, brother. Nothing but love and respect. And I want to tell you, you know, he tell me, Sir Ryan, the only way you know you have moved forward is when you get fight. Nobody go on top and then they get the fight. He said that to me. I mean, I said, nah. And I said, look, Ryan, nobody not calling him. Nobody not said that about you. Nobody not said nothing about you. But make when you reach everybody, I say, yo, Ryan that, Ryan this, Ryan now about the coach, which is not true. I am supporting the coach, Krista. I am supporting the players because the coach have a good pedi pedigree and he qualified team for the World Cup. All right, he definitely yeah. qualified team for the World Cup. Not even one World Cup, but the Iceland, he were part of the coaching staff for the females, right? So he have the experience. He play in Europe, Spain, um, Spain, Portugal, England, all of these teams him up against, and him have to play yeah. a different type of way how to get results. Not because he play defensive for Iceland, dif um, play defensive football and catch team on the counter. That no mean I'm going to do that with Jamaica because Jamaica have much more better talented player than Iceland. And the coach him said yeah, said yeah, that. So you can so him can make a, a lot of different different way how him go about it and all of, all of them stuff there. But I support him. Crystal I do support him. I want the Jamaican Football Federation to do win to do good. I want them to win. I want the players them to have a unit together. If a, one player said that, everybody said it. And same thing on the females thing. And why not? The JFF, if one of them friends make a mistake, they're going to back him. That's human nature. Nobody wants to put them, them fellow co worker on the. And, 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 but Brian, uh, that's how it should be done. You're supposed, you're supposed to back the people that you work with. You're 100%. Mm -hmm. If you don't back the people that you work with, I'm, I'm looking at you and I'm thinking, I can't trust you then. Yeah. You're, yeah. supposed, you're supposed to be one team. You can argue with each other internally, but externally, you're supposed to be showing a united front. Mm -hmm. Nobody's not supposed to come between you and your colleagues. If you yeah. want to chop off each other behind the scenes, that's your business. But ex um, externally, you're supposed to be putting on a professional front. That's it. You got to yeah. make people wonder what's going on internally. Yeah. And... Yeah, so the co we have good players, uh, but as I said, Crystal, like over the years, um, the JFF has been doing a lot of stuff, and I am not happy with it, and a lot of people is not happy with it, and I believe that, listen, I have to be different from everybody, and I'm telling you, whenever they start to do things different, I, I have to evolve one day, Crystal, I have to evolve, you think I can be like this every day? Yeah. Who's going to want to watch a nine Ryan? <laughs> nine Ryan. No, Crystal, who you think want to watch somebody with a nine every single time? He has never have nothing good to say. Even if all yeah. the team play well, me I go be naive. I can't be naive. Me I forgot to jump on the bag on. Yeah. If the team play well, the coach perform well. If the JP if I do what they're supposed to do, I will keep my mouth shut and say, yo, Respect what the man them do. Them go for a high quality coach. But just, me can't just say, yo, me forgive you. Show me that. Show me earn that respect. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Just show me, say, yo, listen, we want a clean state, but it not supposed to give in to you, Talawa. Mm. Not supposed to. Just like the national team, you have to earn the right to play on the national team. You have to earn the right to play on the national team. Nothing not supposed to give in to you like that. You know what I mean? So that's all I'm saying. If the JF want to change, come on, let's show that. Listen, we're going to do things different. But may I remember, I'm getting another important card. I am going to remember. Hold on, one minute. Um, Aljay, 
you're looking at this from a um, different perspective. I get where you're coming from. I'm not telling you to back your co-workers when they're doing wrong. I'm saying if somebody is um, speaking about your co-worker and the accuracy isn't there and there is an allegation on the table and you know that it isn't a factual um, allegation, then you owe your, co your co-worker the right to defend them. That's what I'm talking about. If your co-worker is doing um, something that is, say, for example, um, illegal, illegal activity, I'm not expecting you to come step forward and back them. No way. Stay I'm far away from them. I'm, I'm a moment that. I tell you, Crystal, not mm. because you back me, you know, if I am yeah. doing something wrong, yeah. no matter how good me and you are friends, yeah, call I, know, I know that. I know call that. Call and say, Ryan, you're wrong. You should not have said that. You should have said that way there. You pass a place with a person. You have to tell a person. Don't tell me. Because I believe when you have a good friend and they can yeah. tell you the truth. Your friend's supposed to, yeah. Yeah, you're not supposed to feel that way. But if you tell a friend and them thin skin and thing, that's not the friend you, you want to be no, around. No, yeah, yeah, it's you true. You understand? It's so true. I always open up for that. I have it's some true. good people watch my show. And I always say, Ryan... I don't think you do nothing. And they will call me and say, Ryan, you should have said that way and thing. At the end of the day, I don't want yes man around me or yes woman around me. I want somebody going to tell me that, yo, you're wrong, Ryan. You should not say that. You should yeah. apologize and things. So that's basically, that's how I look at it still. No, you're right. You should, um, every friend should have at least that one, it will be great if all your friends are like that, but you should have at least that one friend that's going to tell you when you're in the wrong. And if you can't be mature enough to take someone telling you that you're in the wrong, then you've got issues. Then yeah. all you want is yes man around you. You can't just go through life having yes man around you. You're supposed to have a friend, at least one friend who can look at you and tell you that, no, you're in the wrong. That's the wrong move. A bit like when I saw the thing on um Instagram, Ryan. And yeah. I called you and I said, Ryan, have you seen this? Please don't make a video about it because Manoya, don't make a video about it. It's no different to what happened yesterday when you called me up and said, sis, X, Y, Z. It's no different. Yeah, and even and you know the reason why all the way tell me see Ryan don't make a video about that. You know the reason why some because you see, I believe that if somebody do something and you don't adjust it to them, yeah, I think they can continue to do do that to you. And me never really want at the time when me that up, me never that do it. I may say, What if I don't do it? They're going oh, to yeah, believe yeah. Okay, and continue to try to diss you, you know what I mean? But I'm saying, even if my co worker did me do something wrong now, and I'm saying, all I was saying last night, me, I wasn't saying you guys would pick up for me. I was clear and saying that, say, listen, we have to, to get on this because at the end of the day, we are all co worker. But that doesn't mean when a co worker do something bad, you can't speak about it. Maybe Rockford is right now because Rockford at the bottom, Rockford says you guys are not um, co workers. <laughs> So maybe he's right. Maybe uh, that is it, Ryan. Maybe that's something that you need to I take. I probably will need to take a look at that and say not co-workers. You co need to look at it and say, look, we're, we're not co-workers. Yeah. But you know that when I watch even, you know, this is not like, even when I watch other music vloggers and things in Jamaica, you have some with different one and some will not. If some will make a video and laugh off of you. Say, yeah, you get yeah. it wrong. And, you know, so in this time and this thing, you're going to um trust me, the problem is going to be there and things. So probably, probably that even that message of Rockford said, probably may have to go learn and say you're oh, well, not co worker. Everybody is working for themselves. Hmm. You know what I mean? Probably, yeah, probably, probably. probably. Before you go, um, right, I've got about two more minutes with you. Um to be honest with you guys, again, I reiterate um, what I've said on a few of my other live streams that I actually have given um, the likes of, say, for example, the person who's usually leading our press conference is Earl Bailey because he's the press officer. And I've said that it's actually a rarity to see YouTubers in a press conference. And a matter of fact, when, when Earl Bailey is doing the press conferences, we're getting about 20 to 30 minutes with the coaches in this country you don't get that so you're getting more than you bargain for so to say that the the platform is non-existent it's it, 
since I've been um involved in doing the press conference, um, typically with um the newspaper, the Voice newspaper that is, it hasn't been non-existent of late. I have complained in front of you guys saying, especially with the reggae girls saying, where are the reggae girls press conferences and blah blah blah. And those um conversations where I've um complained, guys, that again had nothing to do with Earl Bailey because he wasn't present at those um uh, press conferences that I've um touched on with you guys. So I don't agree that it's non-existent. Um, it's just about us being professional and um doing the right thing and being consistent with it because the system is there. It's just about making sure that we're um consistent. But what's your final words, Rai? I think you're on mute. Oh, my final words is, I just yeah. want to say, and I'm going to say it again, if I get something wrong and I run it, I run it on my channel, I am not going to free it to come out and say, all right, people, I get it wrong. And this time, I get it wrong. All right? And I'm really sorry about that and all of them stuff. There, but nothing about love and respect to all my viewers and subscribers. And the people them who don't even subscribe and think, because I have more people watch the channel without subscribing, so... Big up to them and thing and we are all human beings and that's what I said all the time that in journalism you're going to get things wrong. You know what I mean? I owe your bones back and owe your pick up from it and then owe your move on. So yeah, that's my final say. Big up to everybody who come over here and share it um, to Ryan LFC. Big up to all of the people. They're going to know say Big up. Yeah, Crystal, what you say before closer? You're mute, Crystal. Thank you. I just want to say, keep your head up. Um, don't beat yourself up about what's happened. <laughs> Everything happens for a reason. You just have to take it as, as a lesson learned. Just learn your lesson and you move on. Um, the huge takeaway from that is you had someone within the um, Jamaica Football Federation saying that you can give him a call. That's the press officer saying that you can give him a call. And he has clarified that there is no ban and he if there was a ban we wouldn't be the reason for a ban so there's a huge plus there um i know in the past you have had your doubts as to whether or not you would be allowed into a press conference but at least now you know now yeah. you know so that for you still not, me, like me know say me still but me not ban from press conference but me still so not even, but even so ryan because i know me and you have spoken as well and you have said stuff about you know considering if you should like alter the way you deliver your content clearly you don't need to clearly you don't need to alter your delivery yeah because everybody has their own unique style everybody has their own message that they want to bring across in their own unique unique way and all of our platforms are different even though we overlap with subscribers so you have me and you have similar subscribers but at the end of the day you have more subscribers etc so um yeah just um take it as a learning curve um, going forward, take it as a lesson learned, I should say, and just don't beat yourself up about it. it is what it is. The last commenter, um, Danny Jed. Danny Jed, bro, salute, bro. I see you. I see you, Bridging, brother. I see you, brother. Big up yourself, Bridging, and thanks for all you sending me some information. What is going on down in Jamaica and thing, brother? Big up, brother. Uh, big up to Jay, brother. Big up to all of you guys. MPEC TV, big up. No love and respect. Rockfoot. I don't know if you come from Rockfoot in Jamaica, but big up. <laughs> I always think that as well, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But Wayne, big up yourself, man, and, and thing, man. But anyway, Crystal, I'm going to have my dinner with the family. Yeah. And Tell really... Mrs. Jackson thank you for uh, yeah. overextending your time. It wasn't on Yeah, yeah. She, she, she can see that. She can see that. She can she know when me, when I cry I'm a ball and then she feel it in it. So I see she she, you know. But yeah, but really thanks. Um tell her as I say, I'm going to take it and upload it and um I really Yeah, be my guest. You don't and... even have to ask. Um do whatever you want to do with it. So yeah. Uh, Enjoy your Sunday dinner. I know you alone I eat oxtail. I eat my oxtail and my rice and peas. Come on, right? Nicole, man. Nobody with that, man. Nobody with that. <laughs> No matter with that. Make you drink a lot of water dinner, after so. you eat this food. Make you drink a lot of water and thing. Water? Yeah, yeah drink a lot of water. But yeah. yeah, enjoy your dinner with the family, Ryan. And um, me and you will be in touch. All right. Peace out. Peace. Thank you guys for having me. All right. All right. Yeah.
So guys, there you have it. Another live stream has come to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed that one as much as I did. Um, always great talking to you guys in the comment section. Let's see. Um, Toffee, Alge, I think Alge, you're new to my channel. Um, Daniel Dean, I think you're new as well. MPEC Rockfort. Uh, let's go through the rest of the comments quickly. Bartender. Tom said, I think I'm pretty, I've seen you around here before, haven't I? L Grand Giro. Hope I pronounced your name right. Let me scroll through and see Damien. Damien, I haven't seen you around there in a while. Tony Green. Well, <laughs> Boris Johnson. <laughs> Where's Marcus Garvey? We need Marcus to um drape up Boris Johnson. Um, <laughs> who else do we have in there? Um, Eddie Guna, I bet you're enjoying those lovely free points. Mikey Ballin, Jason Guna, IT Push, IT, I haven't seen you around here in a while. Fresh God. Um, let's see, Gonna for Life, Tennessee, Lewis. All of you guys, I weren't ignoring you all. Um, Ducklin, I weren't ignoring you guys, but I wanted to get that conversation out of the way. Lee Young, Gregory Reed. Everton, Jackson, Chemo, definitely weren't ignoring you guys. So um, I have another live stream coming up in about 10 minutes time. Let me go powder my nose, take a two, take two um, painkillers, and then I'm going to come back and lo load up that live stream. So look forward to me doing another live stream in about 10 minutes time, guys. And I'm going to make that one short because, like I said, I'm not feeling 100, but I need to stick to my duties of giving you guys a quick little update on the reggae girls. <laughs> you know what? Jerome. <laughs> O'Neill Williams, good day, sir. How are you? I hope I see you guys back um, in a few, you know. Matter of fact, let me load up that live stream. Let me load it up so you guys can um go ahead and hit the like button on it. Okay, let's make this one live. And what you guys can do for me, you can go ahead and click onto the live stream, right? This is the one that's going to go live in a few. And let me just do my um tags. And what you guys can do is... You guys can go ahead and um, hit the like button and save the link so you can come over to the live stream when it goes live. Let me drop a drop the link in the comment section. I'm gonna give it a read, MPEC. A few of you sent me a few WhatsApp messages, but understandably, I couldn't read it whilst um speaking to Ryan. I can multitask, but that's a different level of multitasking on a whole so click the link at the bottom guys and go ahead and hit the like button on that one for me and that's the one that's going to be going live in a couple of minutes reggae girls weekend of action review drew spence scored on her tottenham debut bunny shaw finds the back of the net quite a lot to discuss a couple of the reggae girls are on target across um europe and we're going to be getting into that gonna make that one um short and sweet for you guys and then we're going to keep it waiting i'll be waiting for mpeg question to be answered um <laughs> if it's i it's private and confidential you know lj that's why he messaged me on um on whatsapp so i don't think i'm assuming it's private if he's messaged me on whatsapp so i don't think i would um address it um in front of everyone hopefully you can be understanding but um, I hope to see you guys in a few. Hope you guys go and um, hit the like button on that next video for me. Six of you have done it. God bless you all. All right. Time to go to the ladies room. And then we are going to go ahead and dive into another. Um, I figured that it would be confidential. Then we're going to dive into another um, live stream. All right, guys. So. Hang tight. I'll be with you all in about 10 minutes time. Okay. So thank you for tuning into the live stream. Um, if I don't see you on the next stream, then I hope you enjoy your Sunday. Eat for both of us. 
um, as ever, it's always a pleasure speaking to you guys. So thank you for hitting the like button. If you haven't hit the like button, what are you waiting on? Go ahead and hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button as well. If you're out and about, I hope that you make it home safe and sound. Um, as always, catch you guys in a few. Take care. I'm John Barnes and you're watching Tarawa TV with Crystal Davis.